Hello friend, in this video we are going to build a simple program in Python which is to place a simple buy order using zero the kite connect API. So let us open Anaconda Anaconda Navigator. In our previous video, we already learned how to purchase Jirudha API and how to configure our computer for Algo Trade. Click on Spider. Spider code editor window is opened. In this folder algo trader we create a folder inside algo trader where we can put our code for this simple program okay click on files right push right button new folder and name it M O T U L E module 1 folder name is module 1 ok click on project and you will see this module 1 we put our all program code in this module so let us open Firefox browser login login to a website uh, type here fun if you in fun dot wb exams wb -E dot com where i write down the documentation for this video or well, actually all of this video i write down some documentation here so that you can easily go through this uh, reading and uh, understand very well okay so click on algo trader so listen to configure computer which is already made a video on that topic click on it so uh, lesson 3 connect zero the api okay uh, you go through this documentation and you will understand how uh, the connection mechanism is uh, working in this API. So, to connect Jiroda API, we need two files one, kite settings.py, and second, kite gate access token.py. Uh, the code is here for kite settings.py and uh, and this code is for kite gate access token.py so we create these two file in our project module 1 okay copy the file name first right click on it new file save this file name open module save this module one folder save it so this is the kite settings.py okay so kite settings.py is here and one file is there is untitled.py delete this yes. Okay. Copy the code from here to this file. Okay. And for the same for kite gate access token, copy the file name. Create file here. and also 
copy this code from here to this file so so now i tell you about these two files one is kite settings.py and another is kite get access token.py in kite settings.py i paste here the api key and api secret as a variable so in this file you need to put your api keys here and api secret is here so go to the desktop so desktop i already paste my api key and api secret in this file uh, okay so api key copy this api key from here to this paste here and paste here okay uh, another uh, another variable is access token i will talk about this later so now so this would be api key is your api key and api secret is your api secret so this is the file i paste this api uh, key and api secret here and i use this api key and api secret when uh, required in our program run so kite get access token next file is kite get access token dot file this is the main file uh, we in this file the basic uh, mechanism is that we have to generate access token first so how to generate access token this is uh, we need a url this is the, the comment of uh, this comment of line is our uh, desired url so copy this url some modification is required so copy it here look at this url this is the login uh, question mark v equal to 3 this is the version and api key is this so replace this api key with your api key and version put the version is equal to 4 so now the present version of the kite zero uh, is version 4 so copy this url to your browser okay this is your browser and paste it and run it so open uh, login to your algo trade apps uh, choose user id is g4997 and 31st and password So login and enter your pin so this uh, after login this unable to connect this is not actually this uh, after login it is redirect to new url the new url is here so copy this url to this text file and look at this url the status equal to success and request token is here so this is the request token required request token copy it from here this is the request token remember this is uh, in this way you will get request token and copy this request token to this code so now you run this code so actually in this program we get request token as an input and then we generate access token Okay, run this program okay so request token place paste and enter okay uh, request token access token is generated here so this is access token copy this access token and paste it in kite settings.py in this field access token field 
so in future when we uh, when access token is required we can use from here in this file uh, from this file okay once the access token is generated then it is valid for the day that is 24 hours so no need to generate access token again uh, okay but uh, the access token is required access token and api key is required for every command and every buy order sell order or others command so access token is created now now we create a basic program to place a buy order using zero the kite connect api for uh, for this we go to browser and uh, and uh, this third file in this documentation and third file place order copy the file name and create a file place order and copy the code from this to here place order file so 100 symbol is there uh, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation some indentation problem is here so just have to delete that okay one line one it always deleted and next the second yes okay so both the error is gone so in this uh, code in this code we are we do that uh, we placing a buy order where uh, we buy a infosys share one one quantity infosys share at the price of 1300 uh, the buy order type is uh, limit order and the delivery base cnc product and uh, this is the basic parameter for uh, placing a buy order exchange transaction type quantity i will discuss uh, all that things in details in our later video now i just uh, execute this simple program and uh, see what happened okay and save this uh, before the execution i one thing to mention you that uh, for this uh, execute this uh, buy order two things is required one is api key so when we in uh, when we run this object kite connect we need the api key and then uh, we fetch this access token this uh, to this object then after that we can place our order so in the front in the input is kite settings dot api so this API key value I am getting from this uh, file and also the access token dot access token from this field. So from this file I put this value get this value to this object. Okay. Now I push the run button. Okay. Okay. Run. Okay. Oh, exceptions where our message is there so the what why there are messages there uh, the input exception the market has closed now so the now market is closed market is closed now uh, today is Saturday uh, and the next Monday when the market opened I ran this code once again and uh, show you the, what is the return message from this Actually, the return message is this uh, order ID, uh, placed order ID, return message. If the code execution is successful, then we get the return message as a order ID, placed order ID. So, uh, okay, we end uh, end up in this video. Okay, thank you for watching this video.